It's May 27th, 1974, the day that Valéry Giscard d'Estaing became the third president of France's Fifth Republic. J'ai compris dans cette campagne que vous souhaitiez le changement. Le changement politique, économique et social. Vous ne serez pas déçu. He stuck to his promise and quickly set about modernizing French society. His most memorable reforms were carried out during the first two years of his presidency, including lowering the voting age from 21 to 18. He also championed landmark legislation for women, allowing divorce by mutual consent and creating a new ministerial post dedicated to improving women's rights. Only months after he had taken office, his health minister, Simone Veil, pushed through a law legalizing abortion. On the world stage, Giscard d'Estaing put European integration at the heart of his agenda, making the French-German partnership the driving force behind what would later become the European Union. Together with German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt, he spearheaded the creation of the European Council. Not long after the 1973 oil crisis brought the world economy screeching to a halt, it was his efforts that led to the first gathering of the G7 group of advanced economies. Nous allons aborder aujourd'hui les questions de commerce et les questions de finances internationales. Under Giscard d'Estaing, France maintained its image of policing African affairs. He claimed to be a champion of the continent, putting it at the heart of his foreign policy agenda and becoming the first French head of state to visit Algeria after it won its independence. His decision to intervene in Zaire in 1978 would ultimately overshadow everything else he did in Africa. When rebels backed by Angola and Cuba overran the city of Colwezi, Giscard d'Estaing sent French troops to snatch it back. But critics accused him of using his position to cultivate close friendships with heads of state. In 1979, he paid the price for getting too close to former Central African Republic President Jean Bédel Bokassa. Giscard d'Estaing was accused of accepting a gift of diamonds from Bokassa, a claim which he rejected, but which tarnished his presidency. Il faut laisser les choses basses mourir de leur propre poison. A die-hard advocate of European integration, he later devoted himself to consolidating EU institutions. In 2001, he presided over the Convention on the Future of Europe. Et debout sur le seuil de l'ère nouvelle, décidons d'entrer ensemble dans la nouvelle Europe. He had hoped of sealing his legacy as the architect of a European constitution, but in 2005, French voters rejected the plan in a referendum. Despite that, Giscard d'Estaing never stopped trying to win skeptics over to his vision of a strong united Europe. He remained largely out of the headlines until a German journalist accused him of groping her at the end of an interview in 2018. In May this year, authorities opened an investigation into the allegations.